anger erupted following the arrest and death of George Floyd on Monday. Thousands are expected to again protest for justice. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is in police custody, charged with murder and manslaughter. The George Floyd incident really started to blow up maybe three or four days before I was starting the Ice Age Trail. For me, that was kind of like, okay, we have COVID happening, and now we have basically a civil rights movement that is starting. June is also Pride Month. There's just a lot to take in. Over the past few years, I've been able to race all over the world. I've raced Western States, Ultra Trail Mount Fuji, The Rut, Broken Arrow. It's been really cool. I get a lot of questions like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, Ottawa. And they're like, Canada? And I'm like, no, Ottawa, Illinois. And everyone's like, oh. I think that people probably didn't take me as seriously. A lot of Midwesterners will just kind of get overlooked in pre-race rankings. Trailer Runner magazine. They wanted to do an article about like what's it like being black and gay, being a trail runner. I was just like, you know, the black and gay story has been out there. Other people have covered it a little bit, but I'm like, I want to talk about companies not sponsoring athletes from the Midwest. We all just need to get together and use our platform to elevate the Midwest. I probably had a pretty normal Midwestern childhood. In college, I guess that's probably when I started to process the sexuality. You already have a decent life and people already accept you for what they know of you anyway. Trying to decide like how much of that do you want to show? Are you willing to take that chance? It's hard. Yes, I am black and I'm gay and I like to run really far on trails, but like I enjoy doing other things also. Anyone that maybe still thinking about coming out or whatever, I want them to see like, yes, this is one part of you, but yet there's still more out there. When COVID hit the US, it shut down races for this year. The Ice Age Trail is a 1200 mile trail that basically covers the state of Wisconsin. It's about 50-50 trail and road. The trail has everything, rocks, roots, mud, water, ticks, mosquitoes, bears. Once you survive like some of the gnarliest parts, it dumps you out on the road and you'll have like 50 mile road connectors. The first week of May, I was just like, all right, we're doing this June 1st. I took three weeks and basically found a crew read the guidebook and the data book and put it together. One of the biggest concerns was here you are as a black gay man running through someone's backyard at 2 a.m. Things that we had to think about but none of us really wanted to say them because I don't think anyone really wanted to like throw me off my game before we're starting. All right, here we go. Have fun. All right. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Right now, it's, I feel like you really do need to be pushing positive stories of people of color doing these awesome things because the nation is just so divided. I felt like this is something that I could do that would kind of bring people back together. I had 11 ticks or so just crawling out of one shoe. If I stop, the mosquitoes are just gonna attack. And so like, you just can't stop moving when you're out there. No mosquitoes out here. Way to go. Yeah. Over 200. Boom. Crushed it. I stepped on something on day five and rolled my ankle. Corey is a very internal person. Uh, he doesn't share things, and we didn't hear about it for a day or two, and then it was obvious, and then things got a little. Uh, a little dicey there. Put ice on it right now and he's wrap it. 
Nice. So what did you do to your ankle? I think I must have just twisted it or something. The chiropractor told me nothing's broken. The only way it's going to feel better is if you just stop running. So he's like, it's basically up to you on how much pain you'd like to endure. So I just hiked everything. I had the outs planned. I had the contingencies for anything that was going to happen in my mind at all times, although it was painful and um, really sad, really sad at times to have to think that way. I feel like Midwestern athletes get overlooked all the time because people think the Midwest is just flat or easy trail. Um, and I can promise you that this is not flat or easy trail. And my legs are kind of like, oh, you just kind of beat the shit out of us for a little bit today. I have been conservative and used trekking poles and preserved it the best I could until this point. Now it's just uh, getting through it. actually stand up today. Look. Oh, wow. Huh. Actually I have an ankle. You do. Again. You do. Woke up the next morning and the swelling was gone. That was kind of the turning point when I could actually run a bit more, things are hurting less, and I still have no idea how to explain it. We're cruising. Definitely the, the first 20 miles I ran with them. Still dropping nine minute miles. Yeah, I was like 40 miles behind FKT pace at that point. I just wanted to make up as much time as possible because I only had like a week left or whatever. Anyone who knows Corey knows he's stubborn. And uh, when he sets his mind to something, he's gonna do it. I'm just really happy that we're getting close. The final like three to four days, that was really the crunch time. All right. 41 hours from now to do 80 and 80. I'm pretty thrilled to still be in it on day 19. I think it definitely feels that we're getting closer and he's still in it. I think Corey has a plan in his head that I'm not sure he tells too many people. We started the day 16 miles behind and we are now an hour up. We're gonna have to count this at your nap, dude. 24 hours, 110 miles. <laughs> Walking yeah. out of here, sorry. You go through there and it just... Oh. Just decide we're gonna have to pull an all-nighter. Like, I'd like to finish this. Sturgeon Bay? Yes. Okay. That fire in his belly always comes through. My sleeping bag even has a little bottom thing so you can stick your feet out of it if you want. Wake me up in 20 minutes. Are you under there? Mm -mm. And I got like 30 minutes of sleep or whatever and I feel pretty decent. A lot of people of color have just brought up it like they don't have a group of people that looks like them when they go out on the trail. By doing what I'm doing now, I hope that other kids will see this and say, hey, you know, he looks like me. I can do this too. I mean, how many black people did we see in northern Wisconsin? Not many. But the really cool thing that I noticed was people were extremely friendly, they were polite, people waved. As much tension as there is in the world, we didn't really feel any of that on this whole journey. So that was really awesome. Thank you so much, what is your name? That inspiration was really needed. People needed that feeling that we might be down right now, but we're not out. friends, check on your friends of color. Be proactive in being a positive change. Treat people how you want to be treated.